and oh yeah seven so um, just a little tutorial really on the size of microorganisms because we were struggling with that in the, the kahoot so um we've got three types of microbes again here's bacteria viruses fungi okay now the smallest out of these this lot is um is viruses so virus is the smallest and then we move on to bacteria now viruses they're sort of the same sort of size that actually you might expect maybe one ten hundred maybe even a thousand of these viruses could in fact infect a bacteria cell so if this dot represents a virus then that might be the size of a bacteria cell if we go on to fungi you know, these are um, pretty big cells, right? And and actually a bacteria and indeed viruses can probably infect these cells and the size, relative size of these would be pretty big indeed, right? Yeah, with a nucleus about that size. And we recognize these little structures within a fungal cell as these mitochondria. Now, mitochondria are roughly the same size as bacteria. Now, it's actually one of the theories is that um, bacterial cells and larger um, archaean ancestors mutually coexisted together. So a bacteria would have been ingested by another cell and put to work essentially to provide energy for that cell. And both would benefit because the stable internal environment of that larger cell would have allowed the bacteria to exist and reproduce much better. So we can see exact these are very, very similar in size, but the virus is tiny in comparison. So let's have a look at um, sizes. Now in the in the in the quiz, it said 50 nanometers across so one thousand do this neatly one thousand nanometers goes into one micrometer okay so this is a nanometer uh, ah Sorry about that. Just made a complete mess. Big zero this. Okay, that's better. All right, so a thousand nanometers goes into one micrometer. So 50 nanometers. This was one micrometer. 50 nanometers would be you know, about there. So this is the size of a virus. And a bacteria would be anything from sort of two, three, four nanometers in size, uh, four micrometers in size. Okay. So let's rub that out again. So one micrometer. Do this neatly, one micrometer. Sorry, 1,000 micrometers. Oh, we could do this the other way, I suppose. 1,000 micrometers equals one millimeter. Now, the biggest kind of um, cell visible to the human eye is something like a giant algal cell or an egg cell. And they're about half a millimeter in size, something like that. So, you know, 500 micrometers is kind of the biggest um, cell you're likely to see really. Okay, now if I go bring this over, over here, see this and play this game here so let's zoom in a little bit and you might be able to see 
Okay, so here's an egg cell, right, human egg cell. It's actually 130 micrometers in size, isn't it? So that is 130 micrometers, 0.13 um, millimeters. All right, we can see actually skin cells, 30 micrometers, that's a lot smaller, right? But a paramecium, huge, and an amoeba, you can probably see that with the naked eye too, is half a millimeter in size. Huge cell. So then we go down and see what we get. Fungal baker's yeast, actually, that is a fungus. That is pretty small. And we get to our first bacteria. Three times 0 0.6 micrometers. So um, that's 1.8 micrometers in size. Let's keep on going. Measles. That's quite a large virus, 220 nanometers. It's under one nanometer, this is now, under one micrometer. Hepatitis, 45 nanometers. Rhinovirus, that's the one that causes common cold, 30 nanometers. There we go. Okay, so virus is much smaller. Then we get our bacterium, E. coli, very common one in the gut. Then we start getting the bigger cells, baker's yeast, sperm cell, egg cell, skin cell. Okay, stop there.